Hello, hi. My name is Bridget, and I'm from TechLingo. Today, I'm going to um, talk to you on how to use the NMS Digital TV Box. So, some of you might be wondering, like, why do you have to change from analog to digital TV? Some background info for you. So, the main three reasons, right, is because um, the government wants to free up the frequency spectrum in Singapore so that they can use it for modernized technology, which ultimately benefits you. It also allows high definition content. And also it's easier for you to do recording for like Ye Shi Ren Shen or I episodes for your Akong Ama Ape. So here are three features you need to know if you own one of the new media solutions digital TV box in Singapore. Okay, so the first feature would be the learning remote control. Okay, it sounds very cheap. It's one of, of the coolest thing you can do with the included remote control. Okay, this learning remote control, you can literally get your remote control to learn from your existing TV remote control. Basically, right, when you go to your friend's house, you usually see two remote controls on their sofa, right? That's them outdated. What you need to do now is to combine two into one. Yeah, you can do this very quickly. So, I'll just run through the steps you need to do. Step one, simply press and hold the set button for three seconds on the NNS remote control. Step two, choose one of four buttons that you would want to set. So, okay, so let's select the power button. Step 3. Once the red LED starts blinking, you can point the TV remote control towards the NMS remote and press the power button. Step 4. Once the red LED turns solid, you can press the set button to save it. That's it! You can repeat these steps for the remaining 3 buttons. For the second feature, we would like to talk to you about time shift. For time shift, you will need a USB storage device inserted first. This feature allows you to pause live TV and even rewind to catch those moments like, you know, like key scenes that you want to watch again, you know. Simply press the pause button at any time and your live broadcast will be paused. You can then rewind by pressing the left arrow. Increase the rewind speed by pressing the left arrow again. Then, press the OK button to continue playback at that position. It's that easy! You can also fast forward to skip certain portions like um, annoying advertisements. So if you'd like to resume to live TV, simply press the stop button. The last and most important feature would be recording. You can choose to record whatever you want and play it back anytime. Simply press the record button and a red recording icon should appear on the screen indicating that it is currently recording. You can then stop the recording by pressing the stop button. You can also choose to record by TV program by pressing the EPG button. Use the arrows to choose your desired program to record. You can then press the red colored button to add it to your record timer list. And to view all TV programs added to the list, simply press the blue colored button. After each recording is done, you can watch these recordings by pressing the menu button and selecting the PVR TV recordings under the media player section. A list of recorded programs will be displayed and you can start selecting any of the recorded programs to be played. There you go, 100 episodes of Ye Shi Ren Sheng for your Ama, Agong, Auntie, Uncle. We hope this short guide will help you to have a better understanding on the NMS Digital TV Set Top Box. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest tech reviews and guides. See you on the next one!